class today is none other than uh, Daniel. Daniel is a, a musician uh, who does music for God in a Singapore. Are we there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's going to be our first person to connect to this afternoon gospel from Singapore. Wow. Uh, and uh, all of you have heard about Singapore. Oh, but let's welcome him once again. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Glad to see you all. The music that you guys some of you have been reading about, the music called Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, perhaps you've never heard that music, but uh, I'm going to play for you just once some of it you get the idea of why it means. <laughs> he does so much his music teaching, uh, those are things of uh. I like this song that the way he plays, you can see me so far. This is. I've never used. No, I've never used. The double make. The double make. The other things that he does. Hey, the more that he's having here. I was just wanting to look for this popular song that everyone will be singing. It's called. But maybe to play it for you live, since yeah. the man himself is with us today. <laughs> okay, what song is that? I, I can't really hear from here. Go What's on the to title? Me. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Okay, yeah. let me just. So, okay. I... Um, yeah. Please, you are welcome. Uh, the floor is for you. You can move on from there. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, uh, this one, God uh, will make a way. Sorry. 
Thank you, thank you. <laughs> sure. So uh, perhaps any uh, question about the music or else uh, maybe just some um, for the introduction about myself. Okay, I, I put my guitar first, yeah. Later maybe I play another another yes, song later. Yes, yes. So okay. Uh, Yeah, I just want to uh, introduce myself. I'm not a minister. I'm not a pastor. <laughs> yeah. So, but why I'm here? Because of I think your pastor, Pastor Samson, you know, invited me. We got to know each other through uh, online. I mean, like through Facebook. I think he found me from Facebook or maybe YouTube. Yeah, but nevertheless, I'm a Christian. So we have the same God, the same Lord. You know, who loves us. So instead of, uh, yeah, uh, instead of maybe I, I teach you because I don't see my spirituality might be higher than you. Maybe I, I'm the same or maybe I also can learn a lot of things from you all, you see. It's just I see there's an opportunity for me to, to get connected with, uh, with you all since we are brothers and sisters in Christ. So maybe through this, I just want to like share something that I... Uh, that is dear to me about about the Lord that you know uh, uh, and and I don't play music in church uh, I'm in marketplace I'm in the marketplace you know it means I play for uh, wedding I play for events from for company from any gathering who pays me and I place in the restaurant in the cafes and I teach uh, professionally also in some uh, uh, international school I also teach in like community clubs and I also teach privately but I thank God that uh, wherever I'm going and wherever I am the Lord always with me you know so it's like uh, I, I see myself as in like the marketplace guy you know <laughs> with the Lord Jesus you know because we see also in the Bible Daniel not me Daniel in the Bible also in the marketplace you know, uh, he was in Babylon and uh, until the king trusted him so much, you know, like I think three kings trusted him, you know, he became one of the government body or one of the uh, council. Right? And then uh, we also saw Joseph of the Bible, he became the prime minister of Egypt. Right. So I think. I see myself, although I don't serve in the way like uh, serve in the church, but I see like the Lord is using me in the marketplace. So perhaps <clears throat> uh, wherever we are might be different, but nevertheless, the Lord has promised us, uh, you know, that His love, His power, His presence, and even His self, Himself, they are already in every of us. So how powerful it is, you know, like uh, and and Christ is our identity. Yeah, so I'm saying this not because I know everything, you know, uh, my spirit is new, but nevertheless, my mind, I have to keep renewing every day. Uh. So now, uh, pertaining of worship, because we, we play music, we worship the Lord through our music, but I just want to uh, share that uh, something also dear to me, that worship is actually a response, our response to God's goodness towards our life. Mm. So, uh, <clears throat> I see myself that actually, uh, I've got, I mean like, in me, when I was a kid, when I grew up, I was a Christian because my family are Christians. But I didn't know that God is good, you know, because everything comes out from religion. You know, I was taught in certain way, so I didn't miss church meeting but I didn't have any eagerness to go to church and to worship the Lord and, and uh, whatever uh, whatever it's supposed to, to be done because in me it's like I didn't know that God is good you know so until I doubt about Christianity I went I went into depression uh, there is uh, some some things that made me went into depression and insomnia 
and then I thought that the Lord maybe is not real or even if he is real he just want to, me to be in heaven one day but as long as I'm on earth I felt like I always short of the standard that he has given me so I always like felt so guilty felt so condemned mm -hmm. until until I've got another somebody share me another teaching that actually is very biblical that the Lord really loves me no matter what so once I have received Christ it is no longer about me but it's all about him then I see his goodness is like awesome you know he is good to me he is doing good he involved in my daily life and he does good for me not because I'm good but because he is good regardless of my condition or my my you know I'm not perfect so uh, so then I remember there's a interesting verse here maybe I could share with you uh, I will share screen oh could you uh, allow me to share screen yes okay yes okay now I want to share this one the passage from uh, Luke 7 verse 36 to 50 yeah so if you have your Bible with you or you can just see from here a sinful woman forgiven Verse 36, then one of the Pharisees asked him, it means asked Jesus to eat with him, and he went to the Pharisee's house and sat down to eat. And behold, a woman in the city who was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at the table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of fragrant, of fragrant oil, and stood at his feet behind him weeping. And she began to wash his feet with her tears and wipe them with the hair of her head. And she kissed his feet and anointed them with the fragrant oil. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he spoke to himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would know who and what manner of woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answered and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. He said, Teacher said, There was a certain creditor who had two debtors. One owed 500 denarii and the other one 50. And when they had nothing with which to repay, he freely forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him more? Simon answered and said, I suppose the woman whom he forgave more. And he said to him, You have rightly judged. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I enter your house. You give me no water for my feet. But she has washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has no sis has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You didn't anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed, me, anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. And those who sat at the table with him began to say to themselves, Who is this? Who is this who even forgives sin? Then he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Wow. So, uh, it's a very touching story to me because at the first place, we, can, we could see that there are two character beside Jesus you know the other one is a Pharisee that actually invited Jesus to come over his place and to you know to have some some uh, some feast some some eating you know with the Lord Jesus and and 
The second one is a is a woman which is which is a sinner. And and you know I I could feel like the Lord Jesus is more comfortable with the woman rather than the Pharisee. Although the Pharisee is the one who invited Jesus in his home and then he, the Pharisee like treat Jesus with with all the food there for Jesus to enjoy. But I think he, the Lord's heart is more of the of the person that can receive his forgiveness rather than the person that show off his own goodness towards him you know so uh, back then when i was growing up i thought that i have to be perfect you know i have to serve the lord with all my heart but the more i tried that the more the uh, i i couldn't I couldn't do it perfectly then the more I become like discouraged and then I see a lot of my friends they have a sincere heart you know so uh, then when I see my heart I've got no sincerity in my heart <laughs> that is funny then I felt condemned you know like how come they are so good you see and and uh, and to me I felt guilty because whenever I see my heart is actually the more uh, I could see that actually I cannot even trust my heart and couldn't give it to the Lord and 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 always there's uh, some bad motive in me you know so but once I understand about who the Lord is actually in his eyes it doesn't matter my heart doesn't really matter what matters is actually his heart so whether I'm good whether I'm bad I better say that out of me there's nothing I could give to Jesus you know so everything is out of his his uh, willingness he want to give more than I want to receive and and it's just like uh, no string attached at all you know in fact whenever I see my shortcoming my weaknesses my imperfection that's the time for me to thank him because he actually has forgiven me you know, all my sins are forgiven, all my shortcomings are forgiven, and He loved me so much. So, things that my life shifted, you know, at least I'm learning to, to come into this, the realization, my life is no longer about my goodness. My life is all about God's goodness to me. Because this, this is the only things that, that works. So, uh, the same way you know when i realize that my life is no longer about me mm. and my goodness to qualify me for his love but in fact my imperfection qualifies me of his love because his love is his grace is for undi for the undeserved mm. so only when i understand this the same things as like this uh, this woman right the way he worship she worship is actually with the alabaster uh, uh, flask, you know, the, the, the fragrance oil, which I believe is very expensive. It's very, very expensive. And then she pours everything, she breaks it, she pours it on Jesus' feet, and she's been kissing Jesus' feet, you know, without any law that makes her, that compels her to do that. So it's out of her willingness because she understands, oh, I'm so forgiven. So I want to do this, not because it's compulsory, but I just want to do this. So that is beautiful, you know, whereas we know that the Pharisee always brag to their, their, uh, their own goodness, their own moral goodness. Hey, I can keep the law, see? So in fact, maybe this Pharisee invited Jesus to see himself how good I am. I want to serve you, so for you to see me how good I am, right? But this... This woman is totally different, you know. She was a sinner and maybe, you know, she is still in, in some, uh, the lowest place of her life, but she worships Jesus. So the way she sees Jesus is actually as a savior, as a loving savior. And she really give himself, uh, sorry, herself, you know, everything that she's got in the, in, you know, maybe the way she's got the fragrance oil from her work. You know, and her work is very hard, you see. Whether this is this is the right work or not, but this is my work. And mm -hmm. I've been saving for this. But yet I give this everything my life to 
on the feet of Jesus because I know he, he is a loving God to me and my sins is forgiven and this is like very interesting story you know because there's no saying that the woman asked for the forgiveness of sin to Jesus there's no saying here but yet Jesus says your sins is forgiven so this is beautiful because the heart of this woman already Lord I want to thank you I want to worship you so this is called worship worship means uh, a response of how God's goodness toward us regardless of our state regardless of our imperfection because to, the more I see myself you know I am imperfect you know but regardless of my imperfection the Lord is good you know because if I if I try to be good to earn God's goodness I can't be I can't feel the condition the unconditional love I always feel like the Lord here favor me love me because I am good but when I know I'm no good and then yet he loves me that will be the response to me is like overwhelming and I only can worship him so uh, that's the beauty of of our Lord Jesus and if I may uh, share about a little story of uh, Peter and John so Peter is someone that is very strong uh, strong in the sense of he always want to do things for the Lord Jesus you know uh, he has confidence in what he can do for Jesus you know that's why when when uh, the Lord Jesus said on in the night on the night when he was about to be betrayed he told the disciples every of you you'll be scattered and then Peter was being proud so he said although everybody will be scattered Lord but I will be always for you and then he is being proud of his ability to God you know to fight for to stand for the Lord Jesus and then the Lord Jesus said you know you will uh, Simon you will uh, what is the word okay uh, you will deny me three times before the uh, before the the crow <laughs> yeah 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 the rooster crow right so uh, then in the other way we see another character which is John John is the disciple whom Jesus loved mm. you know and then John leaning on Jesus bosom so mm. Peter like he really like uh, uh, he depend on his what I can do for you Lord I will do it regardless of whatever you know he made a promise you know based on his his ability to serve Jesus to protect Jesus but John the other way he doesn't depend on his love to Jesus he depends on Jesus love to him that's why that's why he is leaning in Jesus bosom you know and then Peter is depending on his love for Jesus and it's true enough he is the one who actually uh, denied Jesus three times and John is the only one during the crucifixion John is the only disciples that sat on on under the Jesus feet you know in that situation that is awesome you know and then I believe that we worship the Lord because we see this we see that Jesus goodness transcends our imperfection so now we no longer depend on 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 my ability you know uh, to serve Jesus but I want to receive because I know by receiving I can give later on as a response not as a requirement not out of compulsory but out of love as a response oh he loves me so much mm -hmm. and and the, the good things this uh, do you know when when Peter when the Lord Jesus said there there will be someone from you betray me and then the funny things Peter asked John who is the person you know because 
the uh, in the book of John, John mention about himself, the disciple whom Jesus loved, and the word the disciple whom Jesus loved never appear in other book, never appear in the book of Matthew, Mark, or Luke, only in the book of John. So it means, yeah. So it means John literally practice Jesus love to him. It's gonna be personal for him. So it is for every of us, you know, every of you, you know, we can practice. I'm the disciple whom Jesus love. I'm the child whom Jesus love. Yeah. And the funny things, not not say funny things. I mean the fact in the book of John, Peter asked John who. Does the Lord, the 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 teacher, mean, you know? Then John leaning to Jesus and then ask Jesus, who will be, who is the one who is betraying you? And then the Lord says, I will take this bread, I will dip it, and then I will give this away to the person. So the person is the one who is going to betray me. And he did that, and he passed it to Judas. Right. So it's written in the book of John. And when Jesus did that. If Peter heard about that, of course Peter would stand up and then, you know, punch Judas already. But it didn't happen. In fact, in the book of John, it says, then Jesus passed it to Judas and then asked Judas, whatever you need to do, do it quickly. And then a lot of the disciple, in fact, nobody knows that they thought that Jesus asked Judas to do some administration. Administration things or whatever you know regarding the money, so nobody knew about that except John. Why John heard this? Because John was the one who is leaning in Jesus' bosom. So when that happened, John John's head is here and the ear is here. So when Jesus said, only John heard it. That's why it only it's only written in the book of John. So it means now when we when we are leaning in God's goodness toward us, not in our goodness towards Him, the more revelation we can get because our ear is just on the bosom of Jesus. So may this bless us, every of us, you know, to know that actually every of you, you are blessed, and and the grace of the Lord is with you all. Is a good reminder that. You know, it really humbles me because the person of God Himself literally came down. You know, it's like He really humbled Himself until like that level. You see, it's another story when King came down, but this one is God. God came down. Wow, it's to me like, and it's for you, for every of you, you see, and for me also. You know, in the state of of the fallenness of every of us. He did that, you know how humble he is, and how we want to make him happy is actually by receiving more. So I think this uh, this woman, she is when we see she is in the giving mode, you know, pouring the alabaster uh, flask and everything else. But actually, she is in the receiving mode also. Maybe in human eyes she is in the giving mode, but actually because of her worship, she knows who she is. She knows who Jesus is for her. She knows how Jesus love her unconditionally. She knows how bad he see herself out of her own things, out of herself. But yet it doesn't stop the Lord Jesus to love her. That actually make Jesus happy, and she is in the receiving mode. That you know. Uh, that's why the Lord Jesus says, whenever people they receive much, they are forgiven much. They love much also. So it's a good reminder also for me. You know, when I do things, I want to do it for the Lord Jesus, even though it is in the marketplace or in in any other situation. So yeah, then our life has become a worship. Our life. Is a fragrance. Without doing anything, the Lord like every time the Lord sees you, you are precious and you are fragrance to to the Father because of Jesus. I think there's a verse about that. I forgot where is it. Let me find out.
Oke, okay. 2 Corinthians 2 Oke, okay, maybe I'll just uh, Share this one This one, the King James Version For we are unto God, a sweet savour of Christ In them that are safe And in them that perish The one we are safer we are the saver of death unto death and the uh, okay wait mm, before this i think 2 corinthians 2 oh yeah sweet saver is all this one and nasb for we are the fragrance of christ to god among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing to the one an aroma from death to death to the other an aroma from life to life and who is adequate for these things? For we are not like many peddling the word of God, but as from sincerity, but as from God, we speak in Christ in the sight of God. So what I mean is because we are already in Christ and Christ in us. So God sees us the way he sees Jesus. Maybe we are still learning, we stumble here and there, you know, we try, we try our best, but we still stumble, you know. We are imperfect and, and of course we, 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 we learn But in the sight of God We are like his children You know when, when a little baby Start walking Falls down You know the baby fall down And it's okay You are still my son You are learning So what transforms us Is not because of condemnation Because of the fallenness But because he loves us and Jesus has made unto us God's righteousness, yeah. you know. So uh, then every time Jesus sees you all, yeah. it's like a sweet aroma, sweet fragrance. So your life by itself is already a worship for, for, uh, for the Lord because of Christ, what Christ has done for you. And you have received Christ, become the expression of the worship. Because in God's eyes, you know, uh, we are already like uh, uh, the worship. We are already a fragrance to him. But even when we decide to, now I want to consciously worship you. That even more special, you know, like our, let's say when, when we have kids, right? We always love our kids. But when our kids do something, you know, daddy, this is for you. Mommy, this is for you. Something special, not necessarily to be expensive, you know, but our remembrance uh, to God. You know, when we play music, when we play, uh, we remember a lot because you are good. So that brings even, you know, uh, we make him happy and feel appreciated. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's the thing that I, I thought I want to share. And because let's say, um, because if, all, if about music, then it became, I, I don't want to be too technical later on. <laughs> and I'm sure you learn music awesomely, you know, I, I, could, I could see, you know, uh, your video it was awesome it is awesome and the lord is doing great there and and feel free to share your journey also and uh, anybody if you have any pain in your body anybody has neck pain or you know back pain or something no yeah, no then is sorry yeah. okay 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 sure 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 yeah. So until what time is your, your school? It's here. Oh, hi. Hi. This man is What's sick. your name? Oh, okay. Sick of what? Uh, is it fever or something? He has a mixture of fever, bacterial infection, so it is clear. Okay, so what is, what's your name? Um, Elijah. 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 Elijah, is it? Yes. Okay. How are you feeling, Elijah? Feeling sick still? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are manifesting your love for Elijah. I declare that Elijah is healed now. No more fever right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you have paid the price and this is your will. 
So we just come into agreement with you that Elijah is healed right now. The healing is manifesting right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, Elijah, you are loved by the Lord. You enjoy your day. You are healed. Amen. 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 Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I open to you if anybody want to share or if you want to ask about the Gita. I can explain about the Gita also if, if you... Uh, if we are going into direction, nevertheless, you feel free to share anything. So I also can get to know you. Um, that are not okay for what's the name of the guitar? The name. Oh, the, the name of the guitar. Yeah. So I call it. Uh, okay, the type. The I call it double guitar because usually people.